All right, so Carol, yes. you've been tracking on your Lose It app. Yes. And what I did today was did a little bit of grocery shopping because what we're doing is tracking not only sugar content, but most importantly, fat grams because the fat grams is what increases our weight. And then also, you know, it messes with our heart health and then also can create a situation where your body has diabetes. So we don't want that. All right, so what I got is some veggie chips for us to compare. Okay. We're doing some skinny popcorn. We're going to do some pumpkin, oh, cinnamon, and nutmeg <laughs> chips. So if you see this at the store, you generally think, oh, that's pretty healthy. Maybe I'll get that instead. And we're going to do some kettle cooked potato chips. So what you do is take your Lose It app. Once you download it, put all your information in, and you scan the barcode on the particular item. So this works for canned items, it works for ice cream, anything that has a barcode for the most part that's not like a, a ma and pa store, like for example, like GoPress Juice would not be a part of the Lose It app. But they do a really good job. Even um, restaurants, they will you'll be able to like know what your fat calories are, what your carbohydrate count is, what the sodium count is, uh, the calories, the whole cake kaboom. All right, so she just scanned. Come a little bit closer. This is the kettle cooked potato chips with the sea salt. And it's five ounces. And we've got five ounces. So five ounces is what? A serving? Yes. Five ounces of serving. So no, one ounce is a serving. One ounce is a serving. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we got here is 150 calories. The total fat is 6.7. Total carbs, 14.2. Protein, 1.7. So total fat, 6.7. Not too bad for kettle cooked chips, right? No, it's times nine though, right? Yeah, yeah, but in terms